Hi, this is Print Man, alias Ken Duncan, here to talk to you about photographic prints. Now the material I use is Hanamula fine art paper and I use the ultra smooth cotton rag. I find that this is the best material to use if you're talking about limited edition prints. And why do I choose Hanamula paper? Because Hanamula have been around for 400 years making paper. So someone who's been making paper that long, when they tell me something's going to last, I'll believe them. <laughs> so now let me take you through the process of what I do to create a beautiful limited edition print. So first of all, we'll start off with the signing technique on how to sign it and what to do the correct way. And then we'll take you through to the spraying process so that you make sure you protect those beautiful prints. So here are a few handy little things to have when you're signing prints. A piece of card, obviously with a straight edge, um, so that you can use it to make sure your lettering is uh, kept straight and also it keeps your hand off the print. So very important. You need pigment-based inks when it comes to signing pens because you want to make sure that your signature lasts the test of time. So make sure whatever you're signing with is archival and that you know that for sure. Another thing that's good to have is also some weights and you can make them yourself by just getting some weighty metal or something like that and covering it with felt because you don't want anything sharp that could potentially scratch the print. But these are good for when you roll the prints out so you can flatten them when you're signing them and also it's good to leave them flat for a period of time before you spray them. So these are good. So when you're signing uh, the print, always you know, slow yourself down because you don't want to make mistakes when you're doing signing or otherwise you might have to get another print. So just keep everything level and then just signing. Here we are signing. Make sure also whatever you're going to write on the title of the print that you have written down somewhere correctly so that you're not going to make any mistakes in the title. I like to sign outside the print area because I believe it's much better not to have anything actually in the in the frame of the picture. So for me it, it's a much nicer look. So here we are ready to spray the print. I personally like to spray my own prints because I like to see them and make sure everything's perfect before I send it out to a client. But you can get your lab to, pro, uh, to spray